So let's look at example number one that deals with Hooke's Law. So four people with a total mass of 220 kilograms get into a car that has a mass of 2,000 kilograms and the car springs compress a distance of 3.2 centimeters. So, assuming that the springs act as a single spring, what is the spring's constant K and how far will the spring compress if one more person gets in whose mass is 50 kilograms? So, in step A or in part A, we're basically trying to find the spring constant K. Now, spring constant K can be found using Hooke's law and knowing the total mass, the gravitational constant G, as well as the displacement of our car. So basically, we have four people that have a total mass of 220 kilograms get into a car and the spring compresses a displacement or distance of 3.2 centimeters. Using that info and Hooke's law, we have to find our constant K. So what is the force in this case? Well, the force is the force of gravity that's pulling these people, these four people, down. So the force is simply m times g. So in this case, our mass is the total mass 220. So 220 kilograms multiplied by our gravitational constant, 9.81 meters per second second, equals negative k or simply k because really we don't care about the sign in this example we're only dealing or we only want to find the constant value so negative k times 0.032 meters note that we begin with 3.2 centimeters and we want to convert into meters so we take 3.2 and we divide that by 100 because there are 100 centimeters in a meter so now we take this K and we leave it on this side and we bring this guy on this side and we get rid of the negative because we really don't care for the negative right now. So K is equal to 220 times 9.81 divided by 0.032 meters and we plug that into our calculator and we find that our Hooke's constant or spring constant is 67,443 newtons per meter. <coughs> so Knowing this spring constant, or knowing the spring constant of our spring, we can solve part B. In part B, we have one more person get into the car, and that person's mass is 50 kilograms. So, now we simply use Hooke's Law once again, and now we want to find our displacement or change in our spring's distance. So, 220 plus 50 is 270, so now our new total mass is 270. So we basically plug in m times g in the top, so 270 times 9.81 meters per second second, divided by 67,443 newtons per meter, our spring constant. We plug that into our calculator and we find that our spring compresses a distance of 0.039 meters. So that's 3.9 centimeters versus 3.2 centimeters in our initial compression and that makes sense because now we have one more person getting to the car so our spring should technically compress even more and in fact that's exactly what we see according to this result.